Kingdom of Saudi Arabia affirmed its firm position that there is no alternative to the legitimate government in Yemen and that it does not accept any attempt to create a new reality in the use of force or the threat and stress the kingdom. In a statement published by the Saudi press agency that any attempt to destabilize Yemen is a threat to the security and stability of the kingdom. The kingdom will continue to support Yemeni legitimacy under the leadership of His Excellency President Abdurrahman Mansur Hadi and his government and its efforts to preserve the Yemeni state's interests and the interests of its people. Security and stability, unity and territorial integrity and confronting a coup of Houthi terrorist militia and the fight against other terrorist organizations. The Republic of Yemen welcomed the statement of the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia, which affirmed the previous statement of the Kingdom. The Republic of Yemen appreciated the Kingdom's stance rejecting the recent escalation in some southern governorates and rejecting all its effects and its full affirmation on the necessity of resorting all state of institutions and camps. The instability of Yemen is considered a threat to the security and stability of the kingdom, and the Republic of Yemen renewed its thanks to all efforts extracted by the Kingdom of Saudi Arabia under the leadership of King Salman and his son Mohammed bin Salman. The Economic Committee has warned all oil derivatives traders to continue financing the Houthi coup militia and supporting them in confiscating state revenues at the expense of citizens' livelihoods and the militia stands against efforts to pay salaries of civil servants four years ago. National position to support the government's efforts and national concessions in favor of the payment of salaries of employees in all areas to improve the humanitarian situation and alleviate the suffering of citizens, also called for non-compliance and cooperation with the Houthi coup militia in violation of the law and circulars and different government decisions. The engineering teams of the National Army destroyed a large quantity of mines and explosive devices planted by Al Houthi in a number of vital areas that were liberated in Hodeida province. A source in the engineering teams said that destruction of these mines and explosive devices was detonated in Ulaifa area and Adrahimi district according to safety and safety standards. The large number of mines and various explosive devices that were destroyed were threatening the lives of citizens and impeding their livelihoods while work is still underway to complete the removal of the mining mines in the area. Huge quantities of mines Improvised explosive devices and explosives were destroyed in high impact areas, such as rude and populated area in various liberated areas of Hodeida.
an elderly man was shot dead by Iranian back to the militia in Adana province. Local sources say that. That an elderly man named Ali bin Ali Asharabi, 70 years old, was shot dead by the Houthi coup militia in Adama village, north of Murais district, in Qatama district, north of the province. The militia stationed at the strike site in Arfaf village while he was inside his farm. Military sources in Hodeida province said that the Houthi militia stepped up the shelling and targeting the positions of the joint forces. Villages and various neighborhood it mobilized a heavy armed group of various type of weapons toward the mountains area and intensified the terrorist militia from shelling and targeting the positions of joint forces, villages, residential neighborhoods and citizens' farms, historically in all areas of Hodeida. The UN truce took effect at the end of last year. The Houthi coup militia targeted residential neighborhoods in high city in Hodeida with different heavy and medium weapons, without destination between military and civilian sites. The bullet hit the child Alia in the Belvis area, which led to fractures and severe bleeding. Local sources said that the widow of the martyr Abdullah Muhammad Qaytar al Mansouri died after the fall of projectiles of a Katyusha rocket fired by the Houthi militia on their house inhabited by children and women located in the village of Heba. To leave the children of the house orphaned after the death of their father by the Houthi militia, the same sources confirmed that the barbaric shelling of Houthi militia on populated villages resulted in serious damage to the homes of citizens. It is worth mentioning that dozens of innocent civilians, including children, women, and the elderly, were killed and wounded during the past years by the barbaric bombing of the militia on villages and area densely populated province of Baida. Houthi militia accused a horrendous massacre and created panic and fear among civilians as it continues to violate civil and human rights law and store them in densely populated residential neighborhoods, cued civilian casualties and cued extensive damage to the homes of citizens and cued the explosion of fire and a series of explosions in which shells flew from the warehouse to different parts of the neighboring neighborhood, which led to several casualties among civilians. Local residents confirmed that a series of explosions last more than an hour in the store 
which was warehouse for plastic factory before turning Houthi militia to store weapons and plant for the manufacturing of explosives.